Well, FE Emerging have made a promising start to season 2024 under their new coach, Sergi Escudero. Four points from their opening two fixtures means that they head into round three of MPLW Victoria on top of the table. That has since changed following Preston Lions' win last night against Box Hill. But nonetheless, it's been good signs early from the Victorian youth team. And today they welcome another significant test in the newly renamed Bentley Greens. Of course, Bayside United merging with Bentley in the off-season. And now wearing the green, the famous green of Bentley. We prepare for battle in MPLW Victoria. Early shot on target as the Greens make a promising start. That one coming in from Gabrielle Simpson. Simpson, the one change made by Greens head coach Nathan Majorana to his starting 11 this week. Simpson taking the place of Izzy Fernandez, who's dropped to the bench. Otherwise, it's a fairly consistent lineup for the Greens. We'll run through those teams when we do get a chance. This is Joanne Hun, one of the new recruits for Bentley. And is hassled away for him from it by Fiorina Iaria. For the Greens, in goal is number one, Chen Minghui. Otherwise, number four, Juliet Lemieux. Number five, Sarah Johnston. Six, Sienna Fogarty. Seven, Kirsty Shearing. Ten is the captain, Liv Bomford. Thirteen, Jasmine Kane Edwards. Fifteen, Gabrielle Simpson. Seventeen, Renee Sofronidis. Twenty-one, Anna Hurley. And number 22, Juan Han. Effie Emerging, meanwhile, have had to make a few more changes to their lineup. One of those changes forced. Danella Buttress unavailable for today's game, having been suspended last time out. Meanwhile, Amelia Tartaglia and Ellen Gordry are both starting this afternoon on the bench for Emerging. In their place, Fiorina Iaria and Lara Aitken both return to the 11, having also started the round one game, which took place here against Calder. And the only other change sees Amelia Ingalls brought into the starting 11 for the very first time. Outside of those three players in goal for emerging is number 16, Chloe McKenzie. Number two, Annabelle Yates. Number five, Jade Tam. Eva Gutschmidt is in the middle of the park, as she was for so much of last season. Number seven, Eva Kokotis. Number 10, Karina Rossi. 11, Poppy O'Keefe. And number 19, Clancy Westaway positive start for Bentley. This is Hun. Plays the cross inside. And now Aitken spreads it towards Westaway as Emerging looks ahead in the other direction. It's an attempt for an, an ambitious ball played through by Eva Kokotis. Bentley, meanwhile, have made a decent start to their life in green. A win and a loss to begin season 2024. An understandable defeat in round one at the home of the champion, South Melbourne. As we see now, Karina Rossi for emerging. Let's play the cross inside. O'Keefe thought about taking on the shot first time. Instead, plays the more patient game using Yates. Spread out to Iaria. He's cross inside. Well, the attempted clearance is mistimed by Fogarty. Eventually, Bentley do get it clear, at least temporarily. And Emerging will retreat back to their defence. Bentley last week getting their first win of the campaign. A 1-0 win at home to Box Hill. Liv Bomford scoring a magical free kick late on in the game. And they'll be looking to build on that with the performance today at the home of the Matildas. This, of course, one of the newer venues in Victorian football and a fantastic one at that. Liv Bomford there showing all of her skill and quality to make herself some space and then plays the ball long and wide out towards Sofronidis. Sofronidis crosses it towards Simpson, but Jay Tam read the ball better. This is Westaway. 
Looks towards Aitken, who got there just in time, hoping to find Yaria, but Kane Edwards made the sensible decision. Just about perfect conditions for football in Melbourne's northeast. This is Anna Hurley, another one of the import players for Bentley this season. Brought in, having most recently played at Oklahoma State University. The American forward, who we're seeing starting out on the left this afternoon as she did last week against Box Hill, what was her first start. This is Tam. Takes a time on the ball and then plays a well-placed ball out to the left-hand side where Kokotis puts the cross in towards Rossi. That one just a little bit close to the goalkeeper, Chen Ming Hui. Made an impressive start in goal. The new recruit for the Greens brought in from a club in Beijing. And found herself in the team of the week last season, having kept a clean sheet against Box Hill. This is Yates, one of the players who really stood out in Emerging's most recent campaign. You see her somehow still with the ball, eventually. Plays it back to a captain there, the Gutschmidt. Who, interestingly enough, looks as if she'll play today at the heart of defence rather than the heart of midfield, where we're perhaps most used to seeing her. This is Aitken out towards Iaria. Cross played first time. Rossi got ahead on it. Now Kokotis. Sent her opponent the wrong way. Eva Kokotis. Still continuing the run before eventually playing it back to O'Keefe. You see, as ever, FB emerging a team who want the ball. They're happy to be patient with their build up, rely on the quality of their players. And speaking of which, here is Fiorina Iaria. Back to Aitken, nice turn. Plays it with the left. Just couldn't quite get the elevation that she needed. And that pass just a little bit too far in front of Annabelle Yates. So both teams enjoying some spells of possession to start off this contest. Emerging is mentioned. Four points from their opening two games. Started off with that mighty impressive 4 2 win against Calder. A result that caught many by surprise. The player on that day taking all the headlines was Karina Rossi scoring that hat trick. And you can see her in the number 10 shirt once again leading the line today for Emerging. And followed that up last week with a 1-1 draw against Brunswick Juve, one of the newly promoted teams. Clancy Westway, the goal scorer for FE emerging just before half-time, finding the equaliser. This is Rossi, dangerous in the box. Fortunately, enough bodies were back to block away any chance at a shot. One of the key learnings from those first two FE emerging games is the danger that they pose. They win the ball back high up the pitch. A number of their goals coming from those situations. Punishing teams who make a mistake, trying to build up from the back. You wonder if that's perhaps formed... 
part of the Bentley thinking as they don't take any risks early. The long ball sent up by Chen Ming Hui. Sofronidis takes the throw and looks for the exchange with Bomford. Pass back causes a little bit of panic for Yates, who did well with Hurley hunting her down from behind. This is Rossi. Couldn't quite make her way past Sofronidis. Now Kane Edwards. Shearing's pass is intercepted by Iaria. And now Karina Rossi could be through one-on-one, -on -one, but the goalkeeper, hyper-vigilant, is very quick to get out and smother the chance. So goes by Cecilia, does Chen ming Hui, the goalkeeper. And seeing already why she's impressed plenty of people in the first couple of rounds of the season. is Westway out towards the area. Hun. Clever exchange with Bomford. O'Keefe just about doing enough to disrupt the passage of play. This is Sienna Fogarty over towards fellow centre back in Jasmine Kane Edwards. Notable about Bentley this season, the back three that they've been playing with. This is Juliet Lemieux, one of the former FE emerging players, now at different teams around Victorian football, so coming up against plenty of familiar faces will be Lemieux, including, of course, Karina Rossi. Long ball over the top. Has found Kokotas in plenty of space. Lemieux got sucked in. This is Kokotis, plays the ball across. And enough numbers are there for Bentley. Eva Kokotis, a player who's had a good start to season 2024. Has a strong track record of scoring plenty of goals in her junior years. Most notably with South Melbourne. Now Bomford, the Tasmanian, couldn't quite keep the ball in play. So after a strong opening couple of minutes for the Greens, it's Effie Emerging who have taken a bit more control of this game. Goodsmith uses Yates. Now Iaria. Back to Yates, who didn't quite get back on side. So that's a disappointing way to end the attack for emerging. Annabelle Yates, a player who spent a lot of time in the left fullback position last season. It's very much showing off her versatility. Capable of playing on both sides of the pitch. And just there playing that. Important role of shepherding away Hurley to give the centre back a little bit more time. Ingalls passes intercepted. And now Johnston slides it through. It's a good first touch from Simpson. Uses Bomford, skips past her opponent, and then almost released Hurley. But Yates, her positioning is on point once more. Out towards Kokotas, but Sofronidis 
that time was able to snuff out the chance. Well, they look like a team who have plenty of confidence Effie emerging. Credit to their new head coach, Santi Escudero, taking over from Mel Lum. After what was a little bit of a disappointing season in terms of results for Effie emerging last campaign, having made finals for the first time ever the season before. And a win today would send them back on top of the MPLW ladder. This is Westaway. Battles with Lemieux. Westaway eventually comes away with the ball. Krakotis shoots from range. That's right down the throat of the goalkeeper, though. So not a start to the fixture that's been lacking in attacking intent or chances. Challenge from Bentley right now to play their way out of the FB emerging stranglehold that they've been applying. This is the 20th meeting in MPLW between these two teams, and if we can learn anything from the history of these two teams playing, it's that goals are almost an inevitability, just once in the previous 19 clashes if we had a nil-nil and goals galore to say the least adding up the numbers before the game 81 goals have been scored when these two teams have played in the MPLW which in just 19 meetings gives you a rate of a bit over four per game looking to add to that right now is Hurley it's an important tackle from Gutschmidt but still gets the ball across and there was a bit of a coming together between Bomford and Ingalls. Referee, though, happy for the play to continue. So an important moment for the Greens after about 10 minutes where they were more or less locked in their own half. Of course, we speak about the number of goals that are scored when these two teams play. The last time... FE Emerging hosted what was then Bayside. We finished 4-4. Quite an unbelievable game on that occasion. And Emily Keppen's hat-trick and Miller Bullich ended up going in goal in the second half for FE Emerging. Yes, neither Keppen's nor Bullich still with this Emerging outfit. This is Simpson. <laughs> the opportunity to play the cross early. This is O'Keefe. Spreads it out towards Aitken. And well, the attempted return from Iaria. I think looking for O'Keefe. Inadvertently caught her own teammate in Aitken. Was Poppy O'Keefe one of the Newer names to this senior FE Emerging team. Joined the Emerging program from Murray United. Coming alongside Annabelle Yates. So a couple of players with a pre-existing connection. And O'Keefe will be hoping to have the same kind of impact that Yates has had already. Yeah, it's a, a year older than O'Keefe, so understandable that her involvement in the senior FB emerging team has come a little bit sooner. Quick passing from emerging. Ingalls. 
making her first start is Amelia Ingalls. We'll get another opportunity, or in fact the throw's been awarded the other way. Just ticked past 20 minutes at the home of the Matildas. And a game that's bubbling along nicely. And the emerging, you'd say, would have considered themselves to have had the better of the opening exchanges, but Bentley have been more than competitive. And with plenty of the big guns in this league dropping points early in the campaign, the likes of Bentley and Emerging will be intent on taking advantage and giving themselves a bit of a boost, a head start, if you will. And you consider the likelihood that later in the season we'll see some A-League players brought back into the league. And they'll predominantly be joining those more established teams, the likes of Berlin and Calder, possibly Heidelberg as well, South Melbourne. This is Johnston. Pass through only as far as Jade Tam, one of the players who has NPLW senior experience, Jade Tam, having played for Southern United in the previous campaign. Not too many in the FE Emerging team who can say that, having senior NPLW experience at a different club. Simpson's touch was a little bit heavy. But in the end, Johnston's come away with the ball and been fouled by Rossi. No doubt a somewhat surreal experience for a player like Sarah Johnston out there. Such an experienced campaigner. Coming up against players half her age in some cases. Aitken was cut out by Johnston. Now this is Hurley. Very distinct with the rolled up sleeves is Anna Hurley. O'Keefe is dogged in her attempts to deny Bentley. And it's paid off in the end. A little bit of space now for O'Keefe. Plays the cross in. Westaway was there. And the follow-up chance, one well, of the referees picked out a free kick. That was just about as good a chance as we've had in the game. And all coming from some really determined play out of possession from Poppy O'Keefe. take a pause for a drinks break. It is a hot day out there on the pitch. So both teams with an opportunity to reset. interesting to observe the very different demeanours of the two head coaches. Nathan Majorana, a bit more of a calm and collected character. Whereas Santi Escudero brings all of the passion and intensity to the fore of the way that he talks to his players and is living and breathing every pass that his team plays. And that's reflected somewhat in the way that FB Emerging are actually approaching their football, bringing all the intensity and really 
in the face of their opponents. You wonder if Bentley came into this game planning to just see out a period, particularly at the start of the game in which Effie Emerging were really working hard to pin them back. This is Aitken. Stares down Shearing before sending in the cross. Shearing couldn't quite trap the ball with that first touch. Aitken. Got the ball from Westway, but the pass towards Rossi was cut out by Fogarty. And now Liv Bomford. Almost able to release Hurley. Now Shearing. Hurley makes the run again. But it's a really, a really important touch from Jade Tam. Well, you really can see Bentley content to sit back somewhat and pounce on the counter. There aren't many coaches who've been to a better school than Nathan Mayorana at perfecting the art of the patient defensive style and then being lethal on the counter when your moment arises. Mayorana, for a while, involved in the Calder United program alongside Helen Winterburn and, of course, Mark Torcaso. We're perhaps starting to see that influence already on this Bentley team. Bentley team, which had quite an enterprising approach in 2023 under Luis Paredes, who's now headed to Heidelberg, having collected the Coach of the Year prize at the end of the season for the improvements he made with Bayside. Of course, that core group of players that were in the Bayside team last season have remained for this new iteration of the of the team in the Bentley Greens colours. Bomford, one of those players, a real key contributor, was Olivia Bomford last season. One of the reasons for the Bayside United. Improvement. 20 games under her belt in 2023. Four goals as well. And was rewarded for that with selection in the Victorian team for the Battle of the States game against Queensland. That long ball over the top has found Kokotis in behind. Kokotis is one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and finishes clinically to give FB emerging the lead. The chance really came from nowhere. Bentley Green's defence caught a little bit unaware. And she's been making those kinds of runs all afternoon. Has Eva Kokotis and has a goal to her name now as a result. A first of the season for the number seven. It's tough to argue that Effie Emerging don't deserve their lead. And you wonder if that will perhaps inspire a slightly more active response from Bentley. Johnston wins the ball higher up the pitch than she has been for most of the game. And now Bomford towards Hurley. See the legs pumping, but couldn't quite get there in time to keep the ball in play. Well, you can't say that Bentley weren't warned of the threat that Eva Kokotis possesses. 
one of the challenges when you do play a back three is that gap between the wing back and the outside centre halves. And we've just seen a few too many times in too much space between Sofronidis and Lemieux. And Eva Kakotis, when she got her chance, she took it very well indeed. <laughs> Johnston towards Hurley. Switched over to that right-hand side. Placed the cross over to where Shearing is waiting. Still Kirsty Shearing. Inside towards Simpson. Who gets enough space to fire a shot. Now Bomford. It's good scrambling defence from FB emerging. Bomford goes first time, Liv Bomford! An unbelievable strike in off the post. Something special from the Tasmanian to bring Bentley back level. Just a superb piece of skill. Hitting the ball from a long way out. And Chloe McKenzie had absolutely no chance of getting to that one. And well, just like that, Bentley have pulled themselves back level. They've looked to their captain, who's taken on the responsibility. Well, she's making a habit early in the season of scoring some pretty good goals. Is Olivia Bomford, of course, scoring the solitary goal in Bentley's win over Box Hill last week. That one direct from a free kick. This one perhaps even better. And well, this MPLW season, which has seen a plethora of sensational goals already, including at this venue, let's not forget. Has another one to add to the catalogue. This is Kokotis now for emerging, looking to reclaim their lead, but Sienna Fogarty was quick across to send the ball out for touch. So what do FB Emerging have in response to that? They got the goal that their first half hour deserved. And we're looking in control of the game. That goal evidently kick-starting the Bentley Greens game. And they've got a moment of magic now to pull them back level. So with around 15 minutes remaining in the first half, we'll see if Emerging are able to re re-establish their early control. Goal scorer for the Greens, Bomford, uses Kirsty Shearing, another one of the players who was, well, was involved with Bayside for a long, long time. And has stuck around for the Transitioning towards the Bentley Greens. It's now her ninth season at Bayside slash Bentley. All-time NPLW appearance record holder. Kirsty Shearing for this club. Over 150 of them to her name since starting out back in 2016. Kokotis is through once again across that time met by Kane Edwards. Seen a change in the fullback position for emerging. Annabelle Yates reverting to that left fullback position where she's spent a lot of her time over the last season or so. Of 
course means that Amelia Ingalls is coming over to the right-hand side. That perhaps in response to the change of position from the Bentley wingers. Kane Edwards now. Pass cut out by Ingalls. And well, there are a number of Bentley shirts converging on the fullback. And infringing whilst doing so, according to our referee. Man in the middle today is Lucas Matia. Assisted by Daphne Gunaris and Stephen Lee. The two Lions people. Rossi takes the free kick. It was a moment of danger for the Greens as it bounced in around the penalty area. Now Hurley spreads it out towards Simpson. Just couldn't keep the ball in play. Nice touch from Iaria to get past Hun. She'll get another chance to play the cross. And they recovered nicely. Gets the ball clear. A little bit of concern though for the Korean wing back. She's hasn't really moved since that last passage of play. Looks to be in a bit of discomfort as well. But FB Emerging are continuing their attack. O'Keefe to Westaway. Now out to Yates. Ball in towards Rossi, but cut out by Shearing. And the end result of all of that is an FB emerging corner. Well, hopefully it's nothing too severe for Jan Han, the left wing back for the Greens, who's remained hunched over for a lot of the last couple of minutes. Does look as though she's intent on continuing, to at least seeing out the remainder of this half. The corner is direct and straight into the arms of Chen Ming Hui, who quickly releases Bomford and now Hurley. Back to a captain Bomford. Quick exchange between Lara Aitken and her coach. Being told that we need the ball in the box, not out in the wide areas. Following that last passing decision. Aitken, who I think has been quite impressive in this first half. You can see her composure and quality on the ball. Something we're very used to seeing from FV Emerging players. is Eva Gutschmidt. Skips past an opponent before now using West away. Goes herself from a long way out and oh, just for a moment he thought it might have crept in past the goalkeeper. He did just enough to divert it off target. Another corner opportunity for emerging. This one's taken short. And well, the offside flag 
has brought a premature end to that set piece routine. The one-two with the corner taker and the short corner recipient. Seeing an unfortunate end to that attempt for emerging. Hurley with Bomford once more Bentley happy to be conservative with the ball and try again through Hurley who has a lot to do every time she gets the ball got three or four emerging players surrounding her to Anna Hurley Yaria that's enough to get past Hun. Plays the ball in. Fogarty got the vital touch. Now Sofronidis. It's a really firm challenge. And a good one as well from O'Keefe. Kokotis, the goal scorer. Cross in. Almost fell to Aitken. But Kane Edwards sent it a long way clear. Some competing claims for who that last touch came off. It sounded like it caught a deflection after Kane Edwards booted it clear. But Emerging will look to take advantage. Shearing spreads the play towards Hurley. And Johnston returns it to the American. It's a nice first touch from Bomford. He gets past Goodschmidt. But Tam was there in support. <laughs> well, with five minutes or so remaining in the half, the goal at this point could be really quite important. The score's locked as we stand. Well, you can imagine that if Bentley were to take the lead, it wouldn't be an easy time trying to break them down. We've seen a lot of this first half, Effie emerging with the ball, trying to find a way through what's a well-organised Bentley defence. But they've got the skill and quality to the emerging team to unpick even the sturdiest of defensive lineups. This is O'Keefe retreating into the team's defensive line as Goodschmidt once again makes an enterprising run forward. That time Aitken was a little bit more centrally focused, perhaps in response to the coach's most recent instruction. Simpson. Okay. Gets the tackle right. That'll lead to a Green's throw in. And a rare opportunity perhaps for some territory control for the visitors. Hun to take the throw. Bomford tees it up for Shearing. He took it first time. Just never quite had the power or the, ac the accuracy to really trouble McKenzie. So, firm first touch from Tam. That's enough to play it out through Ingalls. Nice turn from Aitken. And the Aria created the space. It's nice football from Effie emerging. Westaway. Yates. And into a couple of green shirts, including Hurley tracking back. Well, you wonder if both teams are perhaps 
perhaps would be content if you offered them this 1-1 one, one scoreline at the break. Emerging, though, continuing to poke and prod. Shot from range. And sent in by Westway. That one, though, never likely to cause too much trouble for Chen Ming Hui. It's not the only game taking place on this Easter Saturday in MPL W Victoria. Also, Calder United taking on Brunswick Juve concurrently to this game. That one out at Keelor. And then kicking off in a bit over 10 minutes' time, South Melbourne will play their second game of the season when they welcome Alamein. And then, of course, the final game of the day taking place at the Veneto Club, two teams who call that venue their home, Burundara and Berlin. A meeting of two teams who made the finals last season, so the action certainly doesn't dry up anytime soon. Plenty of entertainment to keep you going through this Easter period, and then there is the Easter Monday clash to come as well at the village when Heidelberg welcome Essendon Royals. But for now, we're heading into the closing stages of this first 45 at the home of the Matildas. Perhaps time for one last attempt on goal either way. Westaway uses O'Keefe and the retreat to the centre-backs means the referee blows the whistle for half-time. At the break, it is Effie emerging one, Bentley Greens one. Eva Kakotas opening the scoring a little bit before the half-hour mark after a strong start to the game for Efri emerging. But then the highlight of the first 45 minutes, no doubt, the wonder strike from Liv Bomford just a few minutes after Bentley went behind to pull things back level. Means the game very much remains in the balance as we head into what will be hopefully just as entertaining a second half of action at the break. It's FB emerging one, Bentley Greens one.
Back underway for the second half of this FE emerging Bentley Greens MPL Women's Victoria Clash. The score at the break, one goal apiece. Emerging, opening the scoring through Eva Kokotis before a quick response came by the Bentley Greens captain, a wonder strike from Olivia Bomford. And that is where we remain as we get back underway. My name is Oscar Rutherford. It's great to have your company on this fine Easter Saturday afternoon in Melbourne's northeast. It does look like we've had a number of changes made at the break. By my count, two for the Greens and one for FE Emerging, but we'll seek confirmation as we go early in this second half. Looks as if Izzy Fernandez and Maddie Cook have both been brought on at the break by Nathan Majorana. Perhaps not entirely thrilled with the way that first half played out. And also looks as if Amelia Tartaglia has been brought into the game for emerging. This is Hurley. Ball inside finds Shearing. Now Hun, who looks as if she will be good to continue in this second half. Which is good to see after there was just a moment where we were a little worried for her physical welfare late in the first 45. And it does seem as if it's Renee Sofronidis and Juliet Lemieux who've been substituted out of the game for the Greens to make way for Cook and for Fernandez. Ball over the top. It's a decent one here for Emerging as they look to strike early in the second half. Fernandez tracking back, gets the ball clear before Kokotis can get there. is the halftime substitute for emerging Tartaglia. Former Box Hill Junior brought into the game. West away retreats back to O'Keefe. And now Aitken loses out to Hurley. Now Hurley goes for a bit of a run. Gets past another opponent. Still continuing the run as the American. It's just a an endless stream of FE Emerging players converging on her. And eventually, they get the better of the American winger. Very nice run, though, from Anna Hurley. This is Hun. Back towards Shearing. Nice exchange on that far side of the field. Hurley looks to return the ball to the South Korean Hun, but Gutschmidt sent the ball out of play. as if Tartaglia's introduction has come at the expense of Milia Ingalls in that fullback position. See Annabelle Yates returning to the position where she started this game at the right fullback spot. Really just following Anna Hurley all the way around the pitch as Yates this afternoon. One one here, also one one at Keylor Park. That game kicking off at the same time as this one. Contest between Calder United and Brunswick Juventus. 
Well, if that one remains level as well, that really opens up even further the opportunity for one of these teams with a win. Early's long ball over the top asks a little bit too much of Hun. Now this is Tam. Slightly misdirected. Looking to pick out Kokotis. <laughs> a little bit of a shake of the head from the young winger. Tam will get another opportunity this time. It's a little bit more accurate on this occasion. Inside towards her captain, Eva Gutschmidt. Nice turn from Aitken. Now West away. Kokotis, the goal scorer for Emerging. Fernandez, keeping a company. And really now for the first time in the half, Emerging look to pin back their opponents once more as they did for so much of the first 45. Bonford and Shearing though combine an attempt to relieve some of the early pressure. Ball over the top. Fernandez gets there well before her opponent, Kokotis. And the result will be a goal kick for Bentley Greens. The goalkeeper, Chen Ming Hui, who was certainly the busier of the two shot stoppers in the first half, made couple of important saves. Just beaten that one time by the Kokotas finish. Bomford now. Makes a bit of space for herself with the turn. Now Johnston. Looks for the combination with Fernandez, but the return pass is over hit. Schmidt, only as far as Kane Edwards. Centre back, progressing a long way up the pitch. And now Hurley tries to send Yates the wrong way, but the fullback remains steadfast. Shearing and Bomford look to combine again. Emerging though, come away with the ball. This is Kokotis. Kokotis once more, staring down Fernandez. Combines with Rossi. That's a nice play. Rossi from a long way out. Karina Rossi. Back on the score sheet. Her fourth goal of the season. And that was a wonderful combination build up with Eva Kokotis and the finish from Karina Rossi in off the post. Absolutely nothing Chen Ming Hui could do about it. And Effie Emerging have made a promising start to the second half. They put a goal to show for it as well. So we're once again in the position where the challenge has been laid before Bentley. Do they have another gear to reach? Perhaps another moment of magic from one of their attacking players. Oh, no. 
This is Cook sending the ball. Touch from her fellow substitute in Tartaglia. That one well read by Gutschmidt. Now Aitken. Johnston a little bit too strong. Now Tam finds Westaway. Challenge from Johnston deemed illegal by our referee. Well, it's hard not to be impressed with what FE Emerging have brought in this game and their start of the season in general. Just a team which plays with so much enthusiasm and in-your-face style. Difficult to manage for opposition teams, and we've seen that already this season. That goal taking emerging season tally to seven goals. Well, if they can get just as good at keeping them out at the other end, they set themselves up to be a real threat in season 2024. Simpson battling with Westaway. Clancy Westaway keeps the ball in play. Looks to see another substitution coming for FB Emerging. I think the call was towards Lara Aitken. Who trudges her way to the substitute's bench. Gracie Clarkson is the player who will be brought on to replace her, the former South Melbourne junior, Clarkson. Aitken, who, when well, we saw the reason that there's so much promise for. Lara Aitken, just that ability on the ball, so very striking, just the composure and the ability to turn in tight spaces. Well one back here by Kokotis. Inside to O'Keefe, back towards Kokotis, Rossi was there in support. Enough Bentley numbers back to defend. Good Schmidt. Goes herself from a long way out and forced the save from Chen Ming Hui. This is a fixture that, in recent times at least, Effie Emerging have well and truly been getting the better of Bentley Greens, at least in their, under their previous name of Bayside of the last. Nine meetings, Bentley only winning one of those. So for whatever reason, it's been a, a fixture that has favoured the young talents of FE Emerging. And as things stand, that positive record may well be extended even further. Unless that is that Bentley have another response in them. Foul called there. The way of emerging. Tartaglia. Emilia Tartaglia, one of 
many players in this FB emerging team with experience in junior Matilda squads. And it looks as if that break and play will allow Bentley to head to their, their bench once more. And it'll be the end of the afternoon for Gabby Simpson. And Sienna Leighton Welch is brought on to replace her, the 18 year old. And spent last season at Heidelberg, did Leighton Welch. And we'll now get her crack for the final half hour of action at the home of the Matildas. As things stand, FE Emerging would be going clear at the top of the MPLW table, albeit with having played more games than almost every other team. It's been a very impressive start to the season. And perhaps they can make a push to return to the finals as they did a couple of years ago. Kokotis. Slid through towards Westaway. We should be able to keep the ball in play. Not quite. A little bit too much power on the pass. Just looked at times a little bit bereft of ideas building up from the back Bentley. Just struggling to relieve themselves from this pressure. Long ball sent up by Chen Ming Hui. A flick on header from Bomford, only as far as Tartaglia. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Han and Bomford. Bomford, I should say. Cook. Back into Han. And now Johnston. Nice combination play. Good football played by the Greens. This is Fernandez. Still Fernandez. Plays the cross inside. Shearing was there. Mistimed the attempt. And well, that was just about the best passage of play we've seen from the Greens all afternoon. And they probably should have had an equaliser as a reward. Kirsty Shearing mistiming the strike. And emerging. Escape with their lead still intact. Hun loses out. Now Poppy O'Keefe. There's plenty of space on this left-hand side. That's where she was heading. Just didn't quite get the power on it. As Cook slides it through towards Lacey Welch. Cross hit first time. That one too close to the goalkeeper. But it looks as if some of the substitutions have had a positive effect for the Greens. This time, though, it's Tartaglia winning out and sliding it through towards Rossi. Karina Rossi goes for goal once more. That one a little bit too much height on it. A little bit more confidence in that forward play from Karina Rossi, having got herself back on the score sheet. An early leader in the Golden Boot race with four to her name.
Geneva Goodschmidt has continued to have a massive influence on games, even when not in the middle of the park. The role in defence this afternoon has been mighty impressive. You can just see when she gets on the ball, she's one of those players so comfortable dictating the tempo and controlling a bit of the play. Fernandez now. Didn't quite pick out a teammate with that pass. Now for Cotis. Hopes for Westaway, but Johnston is a little bit more energised getting to the ball. Pass though, only as far as Kokotis. Bit of a firm shoulder from Fernandez. Referee happy for play to continue as Kokotis remains on the deck. Now Tam looks for Kokotis, who's back on her feet, fortunately. And that will be a cue for, I think, another drinks break in the game. Yeah, indeed it will. So we head into this intermission with Effie emerging once more in the ascendancy. A lot of similarities between the second half and the first. With the home team early on establishing a bit of control and making it difficult for Bentley to get out of their own half for some extended periods of time. Once more, they've got the goal as their reward. Well, this is Nathan Marana's best chance, you'd imagine, to dish out some final instructions to change the direction of this game. to get play back underway if we're emerging yeah, look to be ready to make use of their bench one more time and Clancy Westaway's afternoon has come to an end Ellen Gaudry brought on to replace her and meanwhile Samira Rex Heffy will play out the remainder of this game. Fiorina Iaria substituted out to allow for that. Effie emerging looking to keep up their energy for the rest of this game. It is hot out on the pitch and those drinks breaks really important for the way emerging want to play and the intensity that they bring. Natalia for emerging. I think that's been called back for a foul throw. Referee quick on it. Leighton Welch crowded out initially. Plays it back now to Fernandez. Now Bomford. It's the captain able to lift her team one more time in this game. It's pointing Cook towards the middle and Cook went back towards Bomford. Emerging of one back the ball as a result. This is Goodschmidt. Out to the right-hand side. 
This is Rex Happy. Loses out in that exchange with Hun, so it'll be a Bentley goal kick. So we tick into the final 20 minutes of regulation time. Shearing's ball. Hurley claims possession out wide. Trying again to get past Yates. Yates is positioning so good time and time again. But still, they continue to do battle. And the ball's been kept just about in play. But Hurley's passed back. Is intercepted for a Bentley throw. Yeah, Annabelle Yates, you'd have to say, would get the win once again on that occasion. And if you were to assess the performance across the course of the game, at least so far, Yates has just about gotten the better of Hurley. Well, a moment of danger at the back for emerging as Emilia Tartaglia accidentally steps onto the ball and lost her footing. Fortunately, she recovered quickly enough. Now an opportunity perhaps for Gaudry as her fellow substitute and cook for company. O'Keefe now. Gutschmidt. Nice exchange with O'Keefe. Didn't quite keep control of the ball though. And now Fernandez is making the run, but the pass is played too soon. By Sienna Leighton Welch. And you can see Eva Gutschmidt has stepped back up into a more regular midfield position for the remainder of this game. One more goal now from FB Emerging, you think, would surely secure the three points. Just unable to get the cross right there was Gordry. And Gracie Clarkson is the player who's stepped into that centre back position vacated by Gutschmidt. Rossi back to Gutschmidt. You can imagine that if you asked Effie Emerging, they'd be pretty okay with this game just simmering as it is. They've got their lead. Bentley really only had that one good chance in this half. Kirsty Shearing opportunity. And they'll be okay if the tempo remains at this level. You'd imagine at least. Perhaps one final attempt to mix things up for Bentley about to come from the bench. Coco Parker getting ready to come on as the ball through for Fernandez. Izzy Fernandez. 
The shot right at the opposition goalkeeper. And Chloe McKenzie will have been thankful for that one. Relatively straightforward claim. And that break and play will allow that substitution to be made with Coco Parker being brought on. And it will be the end of the day for the American. And a Hurley brought from the field. And will Coco Parker be able to provide a little bit of magic that Bentley are calling out for just at the moment? Positive moment there, though, with... Maisy Fernandez getting that shot on goal. Credit though also to Chloe McKenzie for the way she closed down the angle really quick. And it tough for the Bentley substitute. Tan keeps the ball in play. That's well protected by Tartaglia. Gutschmidt. Cracks some space by spinning around. Now Yates. Inside. Gutschmidt. Rossi. Kokodis. Can get past the last opponent in Fernandez. We now start a run in the other direction. But once more, just not quite on the same wavelength as Leighton Welch. Just the fine margins of football at this level, the pass ever so slightly misdirected. Kokodis. Looked inside towards Gaudry. Rossi keeps the attack going. Johnston towards Bomford now. And a pretty clear cut foul, that one. It's actually been a somewhat clean game, this one. Not a whole lot of fouls. The referee hasn't had to be overly involved. And we will now see Effie Emerging making their final substitution. The opening goal scorer, Eva Kokodis, is brought from the action. A really impressive performance from the winger. And the change will allow Alice Franku to make her bow at the home of the Matildas. They've staggered these substitutions throughout the half FE emerging. I think just looking to maintain a degree of intensity and energy even as the game stretches towards its conclusion. Good Smith. Towards Franku, a little bit too much on the pass. Clarkson out to Yates. Now Goodsmith. Rossi. Space on the left-hand side for Franku. Gets past her opponent. Ball sent inside. And eventually Bentley gets the ball clear. Some shouts from the crowd for handball. Didn't appear to be the case. The chance still alive for emerging. One more goal to seal a second win of the campaign. Rossi. Half cross, half shot. Hun in a bit of an awkward position. It's actually a really intelligent ball that was played. Rex Heffy almost able to capitalise. Tartaglia responds to the call from Gutschmidt. 
And Edwards sends it a long way upfield, but this isn't where Bentley need the ball right now. This stage of the game, it's being played precisely where Effie Emerging would want it. That might change just now as a sloppy pass allows for a Greens throw in. Fogarty stepping up from the back line, goes long and direct towards Hun. Clarkson's there. It's still going. Juan Hun. Tam. Sends the ball away. O'Keefe, though, looks just a little bit tired attempting to skip past Shearing again. Back inside by Fernandez towards Johnston. Now Cook. Still Cook gets the cross inside. And the clearance will allow, will allow for a repeat throw. And is this the moment for the Greens to finally apply some sustained pressure against a tiring Effie emerging defence? Parker just couldn't keep control of the ball. At a vital moment, will Effie Emerging be able to send the ball back up the other end of the pitch? Well won back by Goodsmith. Bomford commits somewhat of a professional foul. There was real danger, space left in behind. But not a bad result for Effie Emerging either as they can once more crowd Bentley Green's half and challenge their visitors to play their way through. Pretty firm challenge there, sent in by Crazy Clarkson, which you'll see the substitute entering into the notebook of the referee. As mentioned, haven't seen too many of those moments in this game. But the result is the Greens can get bodies forward. Cook towards Shearing. It's a decent touch for Fernandez. Missed the first strike, and the follow up was really well blocked by Jade Tam. And of course, just takes one moment for the Greens to pull themselves back level once more. Fernandez with the cross. One's deep, the header comes in from Matty Cook. But unable to really trouble McKenzie in the emerging goal. Johnston will keep the attack going. Bomford kind of flick on header. Shearing has a little bit of space, gets the shot away, the rebound, Parker was there. And Mackenzie collapses on the ball. The flag is raised for offside in any case, but Mackenzie wasn't to know that. It's been a really solid performance from the FB Emerging goalkeeper when she's had to spend extended periods. There's not much more than a spectator in this game. And now Rossi releases Franku. Franku's cross. An important touch from Chen Minghui, a vital one in fact. 
because Gordry was there to finish it off. Otherwise, another chance could be coming the way of Helen Gordry. Got a little bit too much fizz on the pass. And the end result is a Bentley Green's goal kick. This game just going up a notch as we head into the final few minutes. If the emerging can hold on for their second win of the season, it would set us up for a real early season blockbuster next Friday night when emerging hit the road to take on Preston Lions at BT Connor. Two teams who have started the season really strongly after somewhat underwhelming campaigns last time around. Parker is the target of the through ball. Tam has defended well, particularly in the second half. Men, men. Bentley next week. Meanwhile, we'll return home to Kingston Heath where they'll welcome Brunswick Juventus, one of the newly promoted teams currently in action at Calder. Long ball over the top towards Fernandez. You did think that a couple of players maybe had a jumper hold, but the offside flag means that it wouldn't matter in any case, is he, Fernandez? I think it's a little bit frustrated asking for the ball to be played earlier for her. And into the final few minutes of regulation. Is there another twist in this game? Cook up towards Fernandez. Ball over the top from Johnston. Has too much on it and McKenzie does the goalkeeper thing. Collapsing onto the ball with her team clinging onto a lead late in the game. And you really sense that both of these teams tiring a little bit late in this game. You can understand why that might be the case. Not only the hot conditions, but still early in the season. Both sides just building back up to that peak match fitness that they'll have in a month or so's time. Tam's header is... An important initial point of contact. Now Gordry, vital touch from Johnston. And the clearance from Chen Ming Hui isn't her best. Franku. Still Franku. Gets the cross inside. The first touch isn't a, a particularly convincing one. And the shot from Rex Happy. She couldn't keep it down. So we do remain at 2-1 as we enter the 90th minute of action. The game just being paused for a moment and emerging player down on the deck. Just a little bit of concern as Effie Emerging will take the chance to gather around and take some final instructions from Coach Santi Escudero. Confirmation 
of the amount of stoppage time that will be played. Four minutes of it. Four minutes for the Greens to find a second equaliser for the game. So maybe one or two more attempts on goal is all that they'll be allowed. And well, it's not even that if they're not able to it's a cup. play their way effectively through FB Emerging. Although you can see it's a slightly more conservative setup from Escudero's side. Understandably so. It's just a few minutes to go and themselves still in the lead. Not committing as many numbers forward. So here we go. Fogarty. It's flat and wide. Important intervention from Tartaglia. It's been very good since coming off the bench. He's been very busy on this near side, as has this player, Izzy Fernandez. Really physical altercation with Karina Rossi. Foul call. The way of the Greens. Karina Rossi using every trick in the book to delay the restart. Perhaps somewhat fortunate to escape without a card for that one. Ball sent long and direct. Shot comes in from Johnston. It's another strong claim from McKenzie. And how do FE Emerging manage this situation? They just go long and as far as possible with McKenzie. Frank, who nearly winning the ball back in her own, in a, in a really dangerous position. Direct approach once more, Bumford stepping in, Liv Bumford. Well, they won't get a better opportunity than that, Bentley. Route one approach, Liv Bumford with the first touch. Beat the goalkeeper, but went over the crossbar as well. And is that the chance that Bentley needed to take if they had to get anything from this game? Is that the lucky break? And FB emerging arguably deserved for the way that they've approached this game. It's been, there's been no shortage of ambition or intent throughout and they've really made life difficult for Bentley this is Hun can't get past Yates now Kane Edwards will take the throw time perhaps for one last attempt Long ball sent up, and Tam hoofs it clear. That's a nice touch from O'Keefe, and looks to release Rex Effie, but that always looked to be a little bit offside. Parker. And Fernandez tried the trick of letting the ball go through her legs and somehow kept the ball in play. Easy Fernandez, but a foul has been called. And that may well be all there is time for. Effie emerging on the cusp of a second win of the campaign. Seven points from nine to open the season. Fogarty, though, will try to get the ball back up for one more attempt. Bit of ping pong in the middle of the park, and that is full time. FB emerging. Success once again at the home of the Matildas. Taking down the Bentley Greens. After a really impressive performance at home. Opening goal coming. 
not too long before the halftime break. I should say not long before the half-hour mark, either Kokodis opening the scoring. The highlight of the game, nonetheless, I think belongs to Olivia Bumford for her equalising effort from a long way out. Smacked it into the top corner. And then the second half followed a similar pattern to the first. Effie emerging generally in control of the territory and the tempo of the game. And it was Karina Rossi whose goal will go down as the winning effort. A wonderful bit of build-up between Rossi and Kokodis. We saw the number 10, Karina Rossi, at her fourth goal of the season already and takes her team's tally to seven points from an opening three games. Effie emerging looking good in season 2024. And that's all the time we have from the home of the Matildas. I've been Oscar Rutherford. Thank you for your company this afternoon. Full-time score, Effie emerging two, Bentley Greens one.